Have you ever wondered what happened to Big Chief, that star we all remember so fondly from the popular Discovery Channel show Street Outlaws? This is something that we've always found quite interesting, as big lovers of the Street Outlaws show ourselves. Things just don't seem the same without Big Chief. Indeed, Big Chief was always around since the very first season of the show. But then, all of a sudden, he just seemed to suddenly vanish from the cast. Poof, that was it. But surely you're probably wondering, if you're anything like us at least. He can't just have vanished without a trace. So what is it that really happened to Big Chi from Street Outlaws? Well, we'll be doing our best to answer this question today and believe us, it's taken a fair bit of digging to actually find out what happened to this much loved cast member. But first, welcome to Tuna No Crust. We will be releasing more Street Outlaws content soon, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified when our new videos come out. Now, before we look any further, we'll start by giving a brief rundown of the show just in case any of you are a little out of touch with what's been going on. The Street Outlaws show was first released all the way back in June 2013. Each of the episodes runs for 41 minutes, and to date, there have been a staggering 105 different episodes across the 13 seasons. That's no small feat for any TV show and goes to show just how many people love Street Outlaws overall. Street Outlaws is a relatively simple concept and covers the lives of street race drivers in Oklahoma City, as they compete with one another in competition for the coveted title spot. The show covers the real grit of back alley street racing and is packed full of pranks, jokes, and quite frankly crazy antics that leave viewers on the edge of their seats to see just who's going to be the top racer for that season. But there's a catch here. Indeed, while we all have our favorite characters, Big Chief has often been one of the most loved. However, he's been worryingly absent from many of the recent episodes in the show, understandably leaving fans incredibly worried and distressed about whether or not he's actually okay. But don't panic, we'll get into this in just a moment. But before we do, we should first start by asking ourselves, who is Big Chief anyway? Well, Big Chief, whose real name is Justin Shearer, is one of the most loved characters on the show. He's a Louisiana born and bred racer and he moved to Oklahoma in 1992 at the age of 12 with his family. However, his interest in cars would start so much sooner than this. In fact, at just 9 years old, he would often cycle to the street racing area in Oklahoma City to see all of the action. One day dreaming of joining in the race himself. And of course, this is something he didn't disappoint with at all. Justin Shearer is highly active on social media, with a staggering almost 900,000 followers on Instagram alone. What's more, thanks to his work on the Street Outlaw show and his talents overall, he has managed to amass an impressive net worth of $2 million, certainly allowing him to live out his dreams of racing grandeur and style. In 2006, Big Chief married Alicia Shearer, with whom he had two children. However, sadly, he divorced from Alicia in 2017 and has expressed regrets that he was unable to spend enough time with his two sons due to his job requiring him to spend a lot of time on the go and on the road. Indeed, as he once explained, his motivations are always to push for that extra 10 horsepower from his vehicle, and he's forever chasing money with ever bigger and more lucrative races, which has of course limited his time with his two sons, Koval and Corbin. Perhaps then, this could be a contributing factor as to why we've not seen Big Chief in the Street Outlaw show for such a long time now. Of course, it's probably no surprise to most fans of the Street Outlaw show to be told that Big Chief has been notably AWOL during the last few seasons. Indeed, while he had a prominent role in the show for years, things have gone much quieter for him. He didn't appear with Team 405 for quite some time. Thereafter, he wasn't in the Street Outlaws, no Prep King show either. And as an added blow, it's been announced that the much-loved Big Chief also won't be appearing on America's list. So what on earth does this mean? Well, as with everything, the internet rumor mill is awash with possibilities, but we want to give you the facts straight from the man himself. Big Chief recently filmed a video on his Midwest Streetcars YouTube channel, explaining his disappearance from the show. The, the point of being the race master that I took pride in was Handling my sh you know what I mean? But I just don't, just don't think I can stand up there and defend that anymore, you know, because those guys take it seriously. Those guys are on the other side of that driver's meeting, and while they may know in their heart that 
this didn't come from me or that didn't come from me or whatever. Everything's been twisted up so much that some of these guys believe, part of them believe that, you know, this is my, this is my problem, this is my issue, this is my decision, this is my rules, whatever. To sum up the very long video he posted, he went on to say the real reason for his exit was his problem with the rules set by the producers of the show. He didn't want the show to film him arguing with other racers and he started to hate the filming of the show. He made it clear he won't be appearing on any more reality TV shows unless he was in charge of the rules. Unfortunately, the explanation came months too late, as viewers and fans were left months without any word from Big Chief. Some people believe that Big Chief had gone quiet due to spending time with another woman with whom he cheated on Alicia with. However, Big Chief himself has addressed such concerns and calls them completely untrue and incorrect, and believes that once people stop assuming this to be the case, they'll return to loving him again. Or maybe it's these false accusations that have forced Big Chief into taking a lower profile for a little while. After all, while they may have struggled with their differences recently, it's clear that Big Chief still holds his ex-wife in high regard, and is a firm defender of his honesty and loyalty throughout. Well, the reality is a little different from this, although we think it's fair to say that these events may also have tied into Big Chief's final decision to exit from the Street Outlaw show. Indeed, while Big Chief is still racing, he's taking things a little slower now, but his passion for street racing hasn't. Whatever the exact cause might be, Big Chief has now removed the mention of being a street outlaws driver, and now just considers himself a professional street racing enthusiast. As such, it seems unlikely that, in the immediate future at least, we'll see a return from Big Chief to the street outlaw scene. However, Big Chief is still racing and on the go, so we can be optimistic in that regard at least, and keep our fingers crossed to see his return at a time when he's more available. Plus, in the meantime, we can still continue to keep up with his antics through his Midwest Streetcars YouTube channel, so we don't have to go completely in the dark. But what did you think about Big Chief leaving the Street Outlaw show? Do you think he will ever return? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash the bell notification button so you never miss out on future updates as well. We'll see you next time.